Lithuania, the first country to declare its independence from the Soviet Union in 1990, and fast becoming one of Eastern Europe's hotspots. <laughs> And while there is much hope for the future here, there's also a deep sense of the past. Whoa! Oh. You see it? Oh, yeah. It's hot. <laughs> it is hot. Lithuania was paganism's last holdout in Europe before Christianity established roots here about 500 years ago. Who, who is the god? No, no god is like lost. You know? Oh, the real god. Damn. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I begin my journey with what may be the most unusual distillery tour I've ever had on Three Sheets. This is Stumbras, the oldest and largest distillery in Lithuania, located in the town of Kaunas, just 65 miles away from the capital city of Vilnius. They make various vodkas, brandies, liqueurs, and so-called bitters. The reason I'm here is to check out the signature bitter of all Lithuanian bitters, something called Three Nines. But before that, here's the weird thing. Apparently, word spread to the Lithuanian paparazzi that I, Zane Lamprey, host of the world's greatest drinking show, am here. And while it's easy to get caught up in all the attention, I must retain my professional composure, tune out the adoration of the masses, and focus on my important work, drinking. How do you say three nines in Lithuanian? Treios de vineros. Treios de vineros. Super. Thank you. Treios de vineros. This is Vidmonte. She's translating on behalf of Eldona, who's the director of production here. The vat in front of us is in the process of becoming Three Nines. It's a 94-proof grain spirit with a mysterious blend of herbs, roots, fruits, and barks. And only she knows the old recipe of uh, Traios de Vineros. So you're the only person that knows the recipe? Yes, yes. Vidmonte says the recipe was inspired by ancient Lithuanian medicinal formulas that date back to the 15th century. And while they do reveal some ingredients, others remain a closely guarded secret. And there are 999 ingredients in here. No, no, nine. you are not right. Nine times. Here, nine, nine here times we nine, have 18, uh, 27 81. different kinds of. Nine plus nine, nine plus nine. Plus nine. He thought he told me before it was 999. Vidmonte says three nines have mystical connotations in ancient Lithuanian numerology. This is really magical. It's magical. Yes. Yes. How? Why? Why is it magical? Because after after you taste it, you feel very good. I want to feel good. They're very adamant that I drink it exactly as she says, which requires that I spend a good deal of time smelling it. The chili pepper, do you feel? Chili pepper. Pepper, black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Green pepper. Red Green pepper, pepper, blue pepper, yes. red pepper, white pepper. But hardly any time drinking it. What? In one second, yeah. you have to drink it. A shot. And after, you will feel warmness inside, everywhere, in your hands, in your legs, and you will have a lot of energy from this drink, magic drink. Yeah. You can taste it. You have to drink it okay. in one second. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> and before I know it, Aldona starts offering my crew this stuff and teaches us a cool Lithuanian word for taking a shot. Kristina, mak, mak, mak. Aku den mes turim daugiau o nieko. Mak, mak, krutis. Mak, mak. Mak, mak, nieko nežinau. Mak, mak. You have no choice. You don't have a choice. Mak, mak. Again? Mak, tell him. Mak, mak, mak. Mak, mak, Curtis. Wow, that's good. Try out the videos. I think now might be a good time to distract the Three Sheets press score with some complimentary shots. Mark, mark. And leave them in the dust so we can get back to the capital city of Vilnius and bar hop in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, make way for the Velo Bar. This is actually a decent workout. Who needs horsepower when you've got pedal power? I need a beer. 
complete with driver, seats for a dozen beer-fueled peddlers, and a bartender who multitasks. Curtis says that you dance. <laughs> See the city, drink warm and foamy beer, and meet other tourists on the Velobar. To order Velobar, call now. That's how I roll. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Oh, that's a lot of work. My pedal-powered commute has left me smack dab in the middle of town, in front of one of the most popular drinking venues in all of Vilnius. It's called Invino. And it's not hard to find a table of locals up for a few rounds. Unfortunately, they have some news that sort of puts a damper on my mission. There's no Lithuanian beer, there's no Lithuanian wine, there's no Lithuanian spirits here. OK, just when it seems like I've struck out, Andreas has some information that might be valuable to me. There is a stone. A stone? Close to this place. And what is the stone? What's the stone there for? This is made for Ragutis. He was protected. Andreas says Ragutis is some sort of Lithuanian pagan drinking god. And he's going to show me the stone later, but not before partaking in another local custom. Oh, this is Kalashnikov. Oh, my gosh. The Kalashnikov they speak of is a shot of vodka topped with a slice of lemon, covered with sugar on one half and coffee on the other. It's like a caffeine, sugar, acid, lemon rush uh, with, with vodka. Drinking it involves three important steps. It's Mikata! First, drink the shot. Then, eat the entire lemon slice. And last, but not least, do it happily. You must show the happy face. Smile! America, smile! Don't email me and tell me that you didn't eat the lemon. OK. Now that I've downed my alcoholic version of a Soviet assault rifle, Andreas wants to take a walk. I will show you the Stone of Ragutis. The Stone of Ragutis is only five blocks from Invino. This is it. This, so this rock here. Yes. And what, why does it have a hole in it? It's got a gold because there, is, there must be a fire. We'll do a fire with special effects. Watch. OK, OK. Whoa! Oh. You see it? Oh, yeah. It's hot. <laughs> it is hot. The flame of Ragutas lives on, at least uh, on TV. And with respects given, I'm totally covered. Now we can drink. Now we can okay. drink. OK. OK. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Or am I? Tomorrow, more beer gods. There's a guy who hops. Yeah, on the on the one upstairs. Yeah, yeah, upstairs. With the... Right now, I'm in Lithuania's capital city of Vilnius, looking to heighten my understanding of pagan beer gods. And word has it, the place to go for that is Avalis. It's a brewery, complete with pagan statues, a bar, and this guy. Tadas! <laughs> At 19 years old, Tadas is probably the youngest brewmaster I've ever met. Avila. Avila is the name Avila. of the. Of this beer. Of this beer. Yep. Uh, Alus is beer. This beer. And then. And what is Shviasus is it? Light. The simplest of the all beer. Barley, hops, yeah. water. Oh, yep, yep, yep. And that's all. Now, unlike in the US, the term light has nothing to do with the alcohol content or calories. It simply refers to the color. That's nice. Is it a little, um, is it a little cloudy? Yep. Um, it's without filtering. It's live beer. By live, he's saying that this, like all three of his beers, is not pasteurized, so the yeast is still active. Now time for something a bit more 